When you see the desert now, it consists of pebbles and sand. How can you make something aerable out of these things here? When you take an even closer look with a microscope, there are living things here. To make the desert come alive, that is an ancient metaphor, the stuff of dreams for even the biblical forefathers in the Old Testament. The Egyptian pharmacologist Ibrahim Abulaish also had this vision. Industrial agriculture is based on carelessly wrenching from the earth, with the aid of chemicals, as many products as possible. Biological dynamic farming culture, as it is understood here, serves a different purpose. The biological organic principle is based on the existing symbiosis between all living things. Beans, tomatoes and oranges are all packaged here in biological dynamic quality and tested according to the stringent criteria imposed by the professional advocacy organization Demeter. All vegetables from Sekem are grown on its own fields. Here in Egypt we have developed one of the largest biological dynamic markets outside Europe, the US and Japan. In 30 years, Ibrahim Abulaish has made an ecological paradise of the lifeless desert floor 60 kilometers northeast of Cairo, the Sekem farm. Here, though, the earth which had been made arable brought forth not merely plants, but also ideas. Thousands of jobs have been created. A community has formed. Schools and hospitals have been built. The vision has become reality and continues to grow. Throughout the Sekem farm, German-speaking Europeans work with Egyptians, but there is no director from abroad to be seen. In every aspect, the principle they live and work by is called cooperation. The best investment is that in people. Because Ibrahim Abulaish realized this from the very beginning, the Sekem initiative places uncompromising emphasis on education. We shake hands with our students as a kind of respect between the teachers and the, the students. And also, when we look at their eyes, also there's a, a contact between us and them. So they are, we are one. The Sekem community, which employs approximately 2,000 people and cooperates with a further 30,000 across the country, includes childcare centers, a polyclinic, schools, adult education centers, and soon a university. In 2003 in Stockholm, Ibrahim Abulaish is awarded the Right Livelihood Award, better known as the Alternative Nobel Prize. Also man muss auch, sozusagen den Mut you have to have the courage to say, as an individual, I can change the world. Then the prospects for the future are up to me, not for anyone else. A country between the greatness of bygone days, a confusing present and an uncertain future. The visionary Abulaish places his confidence in each individual person. If every person breaks free of his limitations and spreads his wings, Abulaish believes that the country will develop. The latest initiative tackled by Ibrahim Abulaish is the establishment of a university in which the expertise gained over the course of the past 30 years can be handed down to future generations. You all know that the entire world suffers greatly. Half of its people, 3 billion, are living in poverty and 380 million are starving. And yet, the new person is in us. That is the person who dreams of a better future for all of humanity, dreams which should indeed come true. Yeah.